Idly ho, neighborino. Today, we are going to take a look at a few of my personal favorite games to play in 21x9. That's right, guys, this video is in a 21x9 resolution, so make sure to turn the quality up to 1440 HD and go full screen if you are on an ultra wide monitor. And if you're not, still give it a go to get that cinematic effect. When I was deciding whether to get my ultra-wide monitor, I was constantly on the search to see how games would look on it. And once I got the monitor, I was always looking for the best games to play on it. So I thought, now I'd make a video to let you guys know some of the games that I personally have really enjoyed on my 21x9 monitor. If there is a game I didn't mention, I probably haven't tried it in ultra-wide, so let me know in the comments so I can check it out. Some of these games may require file editing or mods in order to get them to work properly. So I'll leave any fixes I mention in the description below. So make sure to check that out if you are interested. I will talk briefly about the game and show you guys some gameplay without commentary. Okay, let's jump in with our first game. That being Fallout 4. Now, I've always been a massive Fallout fan this game sadly didn't grip me quite as much as New Vegas, but I still finished it a while ago whilst I still had a small 21x9, nope, 16x9 monitor. Since I got this new monitor, I keep heading back to Fallout 4 just to look at the beautiful world and play around realistically. I have a ton of mods installed at the moment, which is most likely impacting the performance because as you may be able to see in the clip, we were struggling to maintain 60, definitely. But without all the mods in the game, it seems to run pretty well, at least on my PC. There is one mod required to get this game to run almost flawlessly in 21x9, and I will leave a link to it down below. The world just looks so much better with that extra space on the sides and really helps to immerse you much deeper into the game than it otherwise would. Next up is Grand Theft Auto 5. Once again, I do have mods installed for this game to make it look better since it is now a slightly older game. But my god, the 21x9 is so good. Whilst playing, the game natively supports 21x9 except for in cutscenes, which I have come used to by now because it's the case for a majority of games. Once again, 21x9 allows you to truly take in the beauty in the game world around you and I often find myself getting very distracted from the actual game. Just to look around, then I end up crashing my beautiful expensive car. This game seems to run incredibly well on my monitor and didn't really see any frame issues at all. Following on from this, we have Player Unknown's Battlegrounds or PUBG. This game is a purely multiplayer game, thus playing in 21x9 definitely helps with being able to see that extra space on either side of you. But I wouldn't say it gives too much of an advantage since you are running at a higher resolution and so you are likely to get slightly less frames than smaller monitors. My game was running incredibly well and was set at medium settings, purely because the better the frame rate, the easier I find it to play this game. But it does actually look fantastic on the top settings, but may struggle to stay above 60 frames. Dying Light is the next game. 
which again is just a beautiful game by itself. Then when you add the awesome 21 by 9 support, it is just great, mate. Besides cutscenes, the game runs at 21 by 9 with no issues and even seems to maintain a very hefty frame rate pretty much all the time. My favourite thing to do is climb up a tall building and just admire the game. The, the sun rays and all of that. Oh, and also kill any zombie that comes near me with one swift swipe. <laughs> The second last game on today's list is actually two games. Metro Last Light Redux and Metro 2033 Redux. These games both natively support 21x9 all through the gameplay, but shrink to a weird almost 18x9 ratio during cutscenes. Luckily, these aren't too numerous. The games are incredibly immersive and will honestly scare you more times than once. I actually did a review on Metro 2033 Redux, which I will leave a link for in the description if you are interested. But the game does run incredibly well anyway. The last game is one I've owned for a very long time, but only just gotten into playing recently. And that game is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Once again, this game has almost incredible 21x9 support all throughout the gameplay. The cutscenes do shrink down to 16x9, but I will leave a link in the description on how to make the cutscenes play in 21x9. As with most of the games on this list, this game just distracts you with its beauty and vibrant colours wherever you go. I would honestly consider it the most immersive experience out of all the previous games on a 21 by 9 monitor. Anyway guys, I do hope you enjoyed this little video, and I really do hope it helped out anyone who is new to the ultra wide master race, or is looking to join sometime soon. Remember to leave a comment if there are any amazing ultra wide games out there that you recommend I try out, and peace out.